we're talking about the Islanders, but Biz and I were chatting one day. He he brought up maybe some sort of thing with Barzal, Barzal and um, Trotz and whatever. People gave him shit, and then he ends up getting benched a couple months later. But so many people want to know, like that contract this summer, they can't lose him, right? And no. and he's going to want a lot of money. Well, I do believe the offer sheets will come. Okay. Really? Thank yes. you, Elliot. Thank you. Wow. And, and the reason I do Bring is us that. it's because it's so hard to find good players now. That good, too. You're going. We're going to another team, 32. And also, um, you know, like the owners, like there's, there's more analytics people uh, who are starting to work for teams and they believe in it because they say, look, if, if, like if you there's a lot of studies on the draft and they're actually pretty the odds of those hitting yes and basically in the NHL draft takes a huge drop after pick number two I thought you were going to say seven no two historically the draft goes like this one two look at all the threes three. recently where you're like fuck yes like you, you'd be sh- if you actually sat I'm down and, and I'm went through my legs crossed <laughs> If you, the best like number picture. five pick overall, yeah. that's yeah. right. <laughs> so, like, there are a lot of people who say that it's worth doing it. Um, you know, I had some people who said to me, like, you know, if the Shea Weber one got matched, every single one is getting matched. But I'll tell you this: the Toronto Maple Leafs a hundred percent believed that if Austin Matthews got to July first last year. Uh, Arizona was going to offer Sheeta seven years the max. Would have made sense. And I've looked at it, and people in, around the league have told me they believe that to be the case. Columbus wanted to offer Sheet Mitch Marner, but he wouldn't sign for seven years. He wanted to do three or four. So that's, Columbus that's, said, "That's ballsy." Yeah, yes. Columbus said, "No, we're not. We're not doing that." We're all in it. How about the in. fucking so, uh, stones on the Coyotes, baby? Yeah, like they, oh my god! They were. They Tell were, me more. They, they were going to do playoff. Space. Tell me more, Elliot. I, I nobody has said to me that's false. I think the least believed it. I think the Coyotes were going to do it, and I think the league knew it. So, you know, the attitude is moving. The one thing that's interesting thing about the whole thing that's fascinating to me about Barzal is everybody always says. If Lou Lamorella was still the GM in Toronto, Toronto's negotiations wouldn't have played out that way. I would completely agree. Four, th- four forwards wouldn't I be making forty. I thought they were a little soft. Okay, I thought they caved in. So we're gonna find out what's gonna happen here, right? If it gets to he's getting it tested July first. Yeah. You no, know, because number one is Barzell unhappy at all? Okay, oh, so I, I, would, so I wouldn't say that. I don't is, know. But. Is, is you have this? You have this very unique talent. And a kid who thrives for offense, he gets joy out of, of, of getting points, right? Mm-hmm. And who doesn't? there's other organizations where they value it the same way he does, whereas like they're willing to like let it ride. And Tampa, for instance, they clearly play a different pace and open things up a little bit more than some teams do, mm-hmm. right? He wants to go there and and and, and be free. That's my opinion. Mm-hmm. Now Trotz coaches a certain way. It didn't work for a long time. He ends up turning that group around in Washington. Now his theory has been proved right. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, he's going to be stubborn in the way he coaches his team because it's worked before. He's won a championship. Mm -hmm. But he also had... And also, look how much they improved last year when nobody thought they were going to be there. Yeah. Nobody thought they were going around two last year. No. And they're redoing it. I didn't think they'd redo it this year. Mm -hmm. But... But it's hard because now you're this kid's like, well, you guys are getting team friendly. Like they're they're pretty, they don't pay very high, right? Well, they got you know what? I don't know if I agree with that, but they got good deals. Like Nelson's is a good deal, sure. You know, like uh, right. Lee is a very fair, reasonable fair. deal. Nobody, but nobody's going like Lamorello. Like guys always felt. You know, the one guy who chafed was was Niedermeyer, right? But in in New Jersey, Brodeur could have made a lot more away from New Jersey. Yeah. Like a lot of guys could have. I just can't see why a guy is going to be like, okay, I'm putting up less points because of a system that I'm being forced to play where it doesn't truly make me happy as a hockey player. And then now that's going to be used against me to not make more money. Ouchie. I, I don't know if that'll be used Am against... Wrong? You know, Biz, I don't know if that'll be used against him to make less money. I, I think what's going to happen is knowing Lou Lamorello... 
he's going to say to him, we're going to pay you really well, but we're going to do it in a team structure and you're not going to get paid here necessarily what. Okay. And maybe let's well, see, and well, let's see how far and, and I'm saying. It. And I'm saying I would not fault him for being like, man, I just want to go somewhere where they're going to like me for the way I kind of want to play. Not saying it's the right way, but we'll so we'll find yeah, out. But, we'll, but find but out. we'll find it's out. It's going to come down to if ki- kids got to show some balls to hold out, right? Takes a so, lot. So so you have to have. You have to have a lot of belief in yourself. You also have to have your agent being honest with you and what's going on. And even any agent in the world is going to say, at some point, you're going to get it. Don't worry. Man, if your team's doing well in a month, two months into the year and you're 20 years old, you're not going to play a full year. So maybe Lou Lamorello, if he was in Toronto, would have just stood firm and like, what would have happened? I mean, with Matthews, you're saying that's a little different situation. But Marner, I, I, it is weird to see 40 million to four guys there yeah. up front. It's, it's definitely, it's definitely different. Like I calculated the, in, in the cap era. Uh, which team had the greatest percentage of four players of their cap? And it was Pittsburgh, one of the years, 16 or 17. And it was something like 35%. And this would beat it. Toronto, it would it would beat it. Now, the one thing is, there's going to be a cap jump, but it might not be for two more years when right. Seattle gets in and the new US It'll TV be pretty deals big, right? The new US TV deals, they're very hopeful. So that might be where Toronto's window even opens more we'll see yeah because when we had sit on he said you know taking less doesn't work unless everybody does it right and we, you know you look at boston that top line those guys collectively making 19 oh, million so is, is a joke and then it's like i mean do you think they can actually win with paying four forwards 40 million it just doesn't seem like it, you can build around that enough. well now and you think they're now realizing that they gotta fi- they gotta fix Sorry, their blue line. <laughs> they gotta fix their blue line yes don't worry shannon shanahan likes your podcast 